Welcome, everyone. Join the buzz. Plug in and listen. Turn up that volume and tune in for the inside scoop on the Listen Up, Listen In podcast with your host, Preezy, live on Podbean. Download the app and join the conversation weekdays from 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. and on Fridays and Saturdays, 10 p.m. to 11 p.m. Let's get it. Welcome, everyone, to Listen Up, Listen In podcast. It's time to wake up and get your day started off right with Preezy live on Podbean. Catch the wave whether you're still at home or on the go and enjoy the show. Do you have a passion project you want to bring to life? Let Jamila Adams at Your Service help you. Jamila Adams at Your Service was created to assist businesswomen 40 plus by bringing their passion project to life through website design and marketing. Visit her website, jamilaadamsatyourservice.com and register for a free 30 minute consultation. Remember, you have a voice, use it. Check out Hostile Therapy with Big Red on Thursdays at 7 p.m. You don't want to miss it. Live on YouTube. Hey everybody, it's your girl Giggles. Make sure and go check out Listen Up Listen In Podcast with Preezy. Real talk for real people. What the hell is even that? Get everybody out of my yard. What about the chicken? My God, garlic powder, paprika, pepper, salt. Rub it down, the dog man. Why are you causing a scene right now? This the scene. And it's bad. And Jesus still like this. Uh, 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 uh. Ah, 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 ah. Yeah. Get stankin' butts up. Come on now. Get your butt up. Get 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 up. Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm sorry I was a little late this morning. I had some technical difficulties. The network didn't wake up. Ain't that something? The network did not wake up. I I try and wake up. I try to wake up everybody. And the network said, no. Well, they want to wake up. Want to bloody sleep. What's going on? Good morning. Giggle, wiggle, diggle, wiggle, ba bam, bam. Good morning, Giggles. How are you? How you feeling? You had a good night? I hope so. <laughs> Giggles, you up? J. Do. Loi. Do. Loi. Hope I'm saying that right. Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. It's Friday. 
of a day. It's fry of a day. Yeah. Y'all happy? For those that don't have to work the weekend, I know that you're happy. I know you're feeling good. Getting prepared for the weekend. I don't know what type of weather it's going to be. It might be a nice sunny day with smog. Nice sunny day with smoke. Nice sunny day with Canadian air. I don't know what it's going to be, but the most important thing is, y'all know what the most important thing is. What's the most important Gig, what's the most important thing? Good morning, short pants, Robert. Gig, what is the most important thing? No matter what we breathe it in, what's the most important thing? Let me hear, let me hear your answer. Let me see. Let me see. Hurry up now. We got 10 seconds. That we woke up this morning. Yeah, uh huh. Yeah, uh huh, uh huh. Yeah, we, 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 uh, yeah, we woke up this morning, and we know that our breath was tanking. But see, it didn't even matter. Got on the scale and we got fatter. But we are up, that's right. We woke up, that's right. <laughs> up, that's right. We woke up, that's right. Now get your butt up and take a shower. <laughs> Wake your butts up. I plays too much. Giggle put up a thousand laughy smiles emojis. Geek, that's nice. You just filled the whole page. And... Hey, everybody, yes, wake up. All praise to Jehovah God and Jesus Christ every day. Amen. And yes, we woke up. Still dealing with the Canadian fires, miss. Two days ago, New York was orange. We went from slightly blue, a little off of gray. A little bit of black to orange. New York got hit hard because of these Canadian fires. I'm telling you, we went outside and said, holy moly, went right back in. You heard all the neighbors. You just you heard, what the hell? I'm telling you, the neighbor, <laughs> I'm going to tell you exactly what the neighbors said. I, I'm, listen, they was like, what the hell is even that? <laughs> they didn't eat. They didn't know what was going on. So you went on the news. You had to, that's why I don't like watching the news, but sometimes you got you to gotta listen to the news because you got to know what's going on. And I'm telling you, people stepping out the house like, yo, what is, what's happening? A lot of people didn't even know about the Canadian fires. And I personally asked Alexa, and Alexa said these fires started sometime in May. Now, I, I disconnect Alexa sometimes, but sometimes I plug her in, because y'all know, y'all know where, who Alexa, y'all know who Alexa works for, right? Y'all know, y'all know who Alexa works for. And, uh, she said, it's, it's happening, it started in May. May? We just found out in June. See what I'm saying? See how stuff don't get to us too late, until it's too late? I be messed up, man. They ain't right, though. Plug in Alexa sometime. I mean, when y'all having some conversation, deep conversations, or you doing some unplug her. So I heard, I don't know. Might be a little lawsuit going on. But Alexa be taping. And she be taping. Yeah, yeah. Look it up. Look it up. I think I don't know. I know I think Amazon bought Alexa. I don't know. But look it up. I, I heard there might be some lawsuits with, with Alexa. Yeah. Yeah, because she be taping. They say that she be taping. So, you know, plug in when you get information and then when you, shh, everybody, shh, shh, don't talk. Alexa, such and such and such, that, 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 that. once she finished, unplug her. Because, <laughs> I don't know. I've, I've heard some weird stuff with that, with Alexa. So just be careful. Anyway, I hope today be a good day for you guys. Drink your water. I'm getting ready to drink some water now because if I, you know, Casey, poetic justice, just in case she come on. She gonna tell me drink water. And I'm just drinking right now. So drink your water. If you get you could get up right now, go get a drink of water. Or when you're in the shower, drink the water. As long as you drink some water. You have to drink water. 
Water, 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 water. You have to. Anyway, like I said, I hope today be a good day. Yesterday wasn't a good day. Make today even better. That's all we got to do. There's nothing we can do. We have to make things better. Today is Friday. Good day for those that don't have to work the weekend. Okay day for those that do. It's okay. Make that money, honey. And when you get that check, you know what to do, right? You get that check, give me a dollar. That's all I want. Give me a dollar. That's all I need is a dollar. Because every day you give me a dollar, it's going to keep adding up. That's how I look at it. Mama used to tell me a dollar is a profit. Anything you didn't have before is a profit. So remember that. Hey, listen, there's a lot of stuff on the news. Gig sent me some stuff, some crazy stuff. Um, I got to read this stuff. Listen, let me tell y'all something. Things are why The world is like a, a, a Western. Shoot them up, bang, bang. You have really got to be careful today. That's why I always say, watch your surroundings. You have to. But it's kind of hard when you got so much you're doing. You're doing this. You're over here. You're over there. It's hard. But I'm telling you, we are living in times when you got to get out the car. And it's like, doom, doom, doom. Doom, doom, doom. You know that long thing song with Papa was a rolling stone. Wherever he left his hat was his home. And when he died, all he left us was alone. You know how long? That the beginning of that song is before they even start singing, the intro is like two days old. It's like two days. I'm telling you, when you get out your car and you go to a store, that's exactly what you gotta do. You really gotta turn your head back and you and it. It, it doesn't mean that danger still can't come your way, but you are really, let me tell you something. I don't like going in the stores no more. I'm so scared, especially Walmart. Every, it seems like, I don't know, it's, people just feel like doing a crime. It's time to do a crime, and we're going to go to Walmart and do it. Or, I don't know. I don't even know how Walmart is still up, still alive, still, still functioning. But let me, I'm going to read this story and it's, it's crazy. Oh my God. But it happened in Walmart. Like, I don't need, because I feel like if something happens in Walmart, the first thing people are going to do, well, they're going to sue the store. I don't know. I don't know how this law stuff works, but you know, they'll say, well, it happened in the store. But it's not Walmart's fault. This is what's so crazy. All these things that happen inside Walmart, it don't be their fault. But you know, they're probably going to get stu- sued because it happened in the store. I don't know. Maybe they get sued when it's a worker that does it. I don't think you could. Can you really sue the store if an incident happened in their store? I don't know how to voice. I ain't go to school for law. I just was the law. But I ain't go to school for it. But I'm just saying, can you sue the store if the incident happened in their store? I don't know. All I know, I just found a crazy story just this morning. It must have just happened. It says, man randomly walks up to a mother and daughter in Walmart shooting the 13-year-old. The, the, y'all gotta hear the story because I didn't. I don't know. Thirty-two-year-old man has been arrested and charged now with attempted murder. What do you say? The teenager was shot in the arm and the stomach. Police said they found the gun in the card section of the store. At this time, a motive remains uncertain because investigators say there is no known relationship between the victim and the suspect. And at an age. Do y'all, do y'all hear this crap? Inside the store, a 32-year-old man has been arrested and charged now with attempt. Do y'all, do y'all understand what the world is now? You walking in the store, 
and it could be anybody that's just nuts. Yeah, I got to say it. Nuts, crazy, deranged. And you, this is the world we live in. It says, the shooting reportedly took place at a South Carolina Walmart. Aiken County Department of Public Safety began to receive calls around 7.30 p.m. that an active shooter was in the area. A witness spoke with the news outlet, WJBF, and said a man just came out of nowhere and randomly shot the young girl. She was with her mom. She was actually looking at a pair of shorts, and out of nowhere, a guy just walked up to her and shot her, and he actually went through her, and it actually went through her arm and into her abdomen. She could have died. And some, let me read the comments. See, this type of SHIT makes me never want to leave my house. Me too. Oh my God. What you saying, Giggs? Huh? What the hell kind of mental incapacity is this? It's why good people need to carry. Damn, please be careful. Short pants, Robert. Thanks for liking the short, short pants. Mental illness is real. Mental illness is real. Mental illness is at a high level. Mental illness is out of control. Mental illness is taking over this world. I'm telling you. Oh, my God. So, whoa. I'm traumatized to go to Walmart. This is insane. These things keep happening there. That's what I'm saying. It's it's like people are just choosing the crowd. Let me see. I'm not going to go to shop, right? I'm not going to go to stop and shop. I'm not going to go to uh, or whatever, Pathmark. There's a Pathmark store over there. I'm not going to go to Seatown. I'm not going to go to Harry Teeter, whatever it's called. I'll go to Walmart. It's a popular store. Everybody goes there. I'll do something there. I'll go to Walmart. I don't like Walmart. They don't have any markets. It's always self-checkout. Nobody can't stop. I think that's what people are sitting around that are mental and saying it. Now, he could have killed her. What if he was shot in the head? And I pray that the little girl is recovering. The bullet hit her, her arm and went to her stomach. Messed up. Damaged. Mentally. Now, she's mentally damaged. You, you, you think she, she would probably never want to go to a store, let alone outside, hospitalized, bruises for the, more, I should say marks for the rest of her life because she has to go through surgery. Let's pray that she's okay. Someone said, please get close to God if you are not and please pray a covering over your children. We are in wicked times and need God now more than ever. Prayers to the family and may she didn't die. Why she say may she rest in peace? They didn't say that she died. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. They didn't say nothing about her dying. Let me read the people comments that I just saw that she 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 survived. Yeah, yeah, miss. Calm, calm down. Your, your speech was good in the beginning. So you do that rest in peace. I just saw she survived. Okay, the girl didn't die, thankfully. Yes, just saw that. Thank you, God. Praise God. Yes. Oh, boy. Somebody bashing the Lord. So God didn't protect this child. We should get closer to him. Where he at? We need to ask him something. Well, read your Bible, and uh, you'll understand why these things are taking place and what will happen in the future. Uh, so people are telling that person, just read your Bible, because God will be here soon and take care of everything. Read your, read your Bible. Um, yet America swears gun control isn't the answer. Somebody said, nah, I'm on the wrong planet, because this is ridiculous. 
It's crazy that living here in the United States is worse than living in third co- third world countries. You never know who's going to pull out a gun and start shooting. Truth is going to truth is going out to public places like this, and it's become dangerous. And Mister, you definitely got to get to the library. I cannot fix these comments. Somebody said he was arrested in 2019 for holding his family hostage at gunpoint. And charges were dismissed. Wow. Yeah, we are in a cut. Let me tell you something. I don't know. This is so bad. This is, I mean, get uh, short pants. Robert said traumatized, but she won't be mentally ill if she gets help and has a good help to start with. Yes. <laughs> You're absolutely right, short pants. And I hope she does because I don't know, short pants, something like this. She's She's so young and... <sighs> This is this is rough, man. I'm telling you, please be careful. You you don't you just don't know. Every that's why I say every time you walk out, why y'all think I always say hug your parents and squeeze your pets and kiss, uh, just hold them a little bit because you don't know. You we are walking around this this world with people that just are <sighs> over the edge. Remember that song? Don't push me, cause I'm close to the Edge, I'm trying not to lose my head. <laughs> nah, people are already there. People are already there. That song came out in the 80s. Trust me, people are already over the edge. They are. They, why, why, shoot, why are you killing people? Why are you trying to kill people? What's wrong? It's bad, y'all. I'm telling you, I don't, I'm telling you, I, my anxiety is, up to the ceiling and I it's places and that's sad you're not supposed to live your life like that but you we living in fear you 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 we are living in fear and if you believe the bible if you believe that's what it says we will be living in fear every time you step out the door you gotta make you gotta think to yourself am I gonna come back home today I hope I'll get back home today that's sad every time you send your kids out to the school I pray Today be a good day. See my kid later. Anywhere you go, it could be a hospital, a regular store. I remember there was an incident, I think, in, I don't know if it was the Bronx or whatever. Lady walks into the store, I think it's a cigar store or something, with her dog. And there happened to be a guy in there that these other guys that's outside is looking for. So they blasting inside the store, not even sh- sh- hitting the target. Kill the, <clears throat> excuse me, kill the lady and her dog. This is the world we living in. This is the world we living in. We got to pray. I don't care what nobody say. We got to pray because I'm telling you, things are so bad where I don't even want to go to, there's so many beautiful activities that's happening. But crowds, the first thing I think of, this is a, this activity right here. Somebody can come right now and say, you know what? All oh, y'all getting out of here. Brah, bah, brah, bah. What you going to? Can't, you can't run from a bullet. The speed of a bullet, you can't run from a bullet. It's sad, I'm telling you. Live your life. Enjoy your life. It's it's really nothing we can do. It's just not. It's, it's not we can do. Oh, Gig, you remember that story? Yeah, that was a terrible story. I think it happened like maybe a year and a half ago, going on two. Poor innocent woman and a dog. And a damn dog. That's sad. I don't know if they ever caught the guys, but I know they had the video camera and stuff like that. But it's rough, guys. I'm telling you. And uh, I read these stories because so much is happening in the world we really got to be on top of things so sometimes we can slip up we don't really think about stuff like ah you know it happened over there it happened over there it may not it ain't gonna happen over here it's happening everywhere it ain't just the bad areas it's happening in the quiet areas i'm pretty sure this was a nice beautiful walmart south carolina probably very nice area so what the the mentally 
ill people are coming to those areas too. They're all around. We're probably walking around them every day. You're probably working with them every day. That's why you got to be careful. Sometimes when you see the signs, pay attention to what people say because sometimes they give you the red flags. Pay attention to what people say, how they act, how things might be changing. They're not the same anymore. You got to pay attention to that. Now, this incident was crazy. This dude just walked in the store and went to the little girl, bow. He could have killed her. He could have shot her in the head. So we got to pay attention. We just, I don't know. Can we pay attention? Can you really pay attention 24-7? You can't. So just keep your eyes open and pray every day and just keep living as long as we possibly can. I got another story. My sister was telling me about this story, and I thought this was nuts. I mean, okay, listen to this, guys. God forbid things, you know, something happens, and let's, I'm not, I'm not wishing this on nobody. I'm not putting this on nobody. Let's say you know somebody, or, and you went to, God forbid they had death in their family, and you went to the funeral, right? You go to the funeral, and uh, <laughs> the the funeral director got beef with the pallbearer, and they start busting shots <laughs> at the damn funeral. Do you believe this? Yeah, I I'm not gonna tell the story, cause I might mess it up. I'll let the news tell the story. Hold up, please, cause y'all. This is, this is how, this is why I'm telling you that people are nuts. Things is just out of control. Y'all not going to believe this. Check this out. I, I got to let y'all hear this. Hold on. Running business dispute, according to police, had a long running business dispute with people who were preparing to bury Ariana Davis at a cemetery in Sudland. A dispute that escalated at the gravesite with ugly words. According to a court affidavit filed in the case, Chavis first exchanged words with one man who walked away. The documents allege Chavis then pushed the pastor conducting the service, identified as Joseph Fletcher, who spoke at Davis's funeral earlier in the day. Investigators say Chavis shouted, this ain't your expletive funeral home, and then tripped over the lid to the grave and fell. Police say he then pulled a pistol and fired. When we arrived... We found that there was one adult male and one adult female that were suffering from gunshot wounds. The adult male uh, subsequently uh, was pronounced deceased. Prince George's County Police have identified the man who was killed here at the cemetery yesterday as Ronald Stephen Banks, who was a pallbearer in Ariana's funeral. Ariana's mother tells News 4 that Banks was a good man who had stood by the family since Ariana was killed. She says the woman that was wounded is a cousin. In a brief phone interview this morning with News 4, Ariana's mother said Banks tried to intervene in the dispute when he was killed. I'm so traumatized that this happened at my daughter's burial site. I didn't even get to lay her down, even to put her in the ground. And another incident happened. This is so traumatizing to me, my children, my whole family. Antoinette Belk says the violence in the cemetery prevented her from being able to say a final goodbye. So one of my aunts was at the grave site the whole time. So she was able to see Ariana go in the ground and put dirt over her. And I have pictures to confirm. So I'm very, it's a, it's a big relief knowing that my baby is buried. Wilson Chavis was taken into custody during a traffic stop and, according to police, admitted his involvement in the shooting. In Suitland, Paul Wagner, News 4. Wilson Chavis. Now, you know this is crazy. Y'all know that this is insane. You can't go to graduation. Now you can't go to bury somebody. Ain't this crazy? Somebody, I'm going to read the comments. Somebody said, I have had enough of stupidity, ignorance, 
and flat out bullshit. Yeah, I never know. At a at a cemetery, y'all. At a cemetery. At a cemetery. It is this is a funeral. Funeral home director allegedly guns down the pallbearer and shoot shoot the cousin too. Got the cousin. She's okay, but the poor bear is dead. Yeah. Yeah, you right, gig. It's only gonna get worse. This is nuts, man. This that's what I'm saying. I mean <laughs> I don't know. I, I I can't you can't make this up. You you just you can't make this up. Did you guys gig, did you see the video of this guy? on top of a car and the person was on the highway. I don't, I don't know what happened. And he was lit. He was holding on to their life. Uh, Oh my God. Listen, if somebody takes your car, don't jump on the hood and try to stop them because they only going to pull off. And, um, if your mate takes your phone, please don't jump on top of the vehicle when they pull off and try to retrieve your phone and you hanging on and you on the Verrazano still trying to get your phone. You on the hood and the car is just going top speed and you just, I need my phone. Please don't do that. It's not that serious. Whatever's in that phone, just let them find out because it's not worth your life. <laughs> Please don't. Um, he must. The lady said he must have did something. I mean, it's the it's a woman that's driving and he's on top of the vehicle, and he's actually on the phone calling for help. Um, <laughs> man, if, if she pull, if she pushes the brakes, he's done. I I don't. This is it, it's not funny, but. People are really careless with their lives. I think it's very stupid. Um, it's not that serious. It's really not. So come on, guys. Just <laughs> she got your phone, or vice versa. They got your phone. You might as well just let them take your phone. You was doing something. You should have locked your phone up anyway, and uh, picked some numbers that they couldn't break it into. Break into the phone. If it's that deep. If you got to do something that, oh, get these phones that you could throw away. I heard there's phones you could throw away. I'm not condoning cheating, but if you got to ride on top of a hood car to try to retrieve something, but it looks like he has his phone in his hand and he's calling for help. And actually, this is definitely New York because I'm looking at this, the highway size. So he, something must have happened and. He just, he holding on for dear life on the hood. But he got his phone because he looked like he's calling for help. Yeah, he's calling for help. So she got Jersey plates. So she must be taking him to Jersey. It says Willis Avenue, 3rd Avenue. That look like, are they going to the Bronx? Wait a minute. They must be coming from, I don't know. But the bro, he holding on for dear life. And let me tell you something. She's she's driving. Like, it's it's not no... 10 miles per hour. This car is moving. This is crazy. It's not that serious, guys. It's, it's not. It's not. Don't do that with your life. Don't do that. Press the wrong button. I'm sorry. Don't do that with your life. It's not worth it. Anyway, let me see. Gig sent me some stuff. She said she sent me some stuff. Sent me some stuff last night. Uh, this is crazy. Bullying. Gotta, the bullying people. Got to get on it. Talk to your kids about bullying. Thanks, gay. Good morning, KC. Poetic justice. Good morning. She says good morning. Morning, 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 people. That what KC said. Yasin joined the room. Good morning. <laughs> yeah, gig. This is, uh, it says a heartbroken dad fights for change after son takes his own life. Y'all got to talk to your kids about this bullying stuff. It's serious. J-D-B-S-D-Z-B-C, join the room. Good morning. Got to talk to your kids about this bullying. This bullying is very serious. 
and especially when these kids are taking their lives, man. This is this is too much. Um, I remember back in the days with bullying is you still was bullied. You know, you was still picked on. But it I don't I don't think it was to this level though to where because we fought. You know, somebody, you know, most of the time we we did what we had to do, we we took it in. I never really heard stories back in the days of uh classmates of killing themselves and stuff like that. We we fought. Most of them. We even fought. You went to the principal, you told your parents, you went to the dean. We did stuff like that. You know, when we felt you was pissed. Or you had other kids to take up for you. I'm telling you, back in the days, it was totally different. If um you, we found out that somebody was picking on somebody, we stepped to them. Yo, leave them alone. Yo, and you, you got beat up. You got beat up, the bully. You know, and um some kids that was bullied was kind of protected. They was protected by the tough kids in school. It was a little different with us back in the days, you know, and I'm not saying that kids weren't bullied because kids were bullied. They were bullied. They were laughed at if they, um, it was no difference. If there was disabilities and stuff, kids still picked on them. It, they did. And I, I used to see it. And I'm like, yo, man, why are you doing that? But it was different back then because you usually said something like, yo, man, why are you doing that? Don't do that. And I'm not saying that was all cases because I've heard a lot of stories that People were bullied and teased and picked on and stuff like that. But you didn't hear it so much. Like, you didn't hear it like you're hearing in the news now. Oh, I didn't hear my classmates killing themselves and stuff like that. They took it. They handled it. They told their parents. Or they fought. They fought the people that was bullying them. Then they got a rap, you know. Now you got the juice. Y'all know how that, man, that movie with Tupac? Now you got the juice. So it was a little different back then. It was still bad, and you felt bad for the kids that got teased and stuff like that. And you just, I'm just glad that I didn't hang out around people that were just mean. You know what I mean? And you saw it. You saw the kids being picked on. You're like, yo, you all right? Like, you know, but now kids are killing themselves because of being bullied. And that's sad. We're talking 9, 10, 12-year-olds. It's bad. Um, Vicky Shell joined the room. Good morning. Raw X E H F R joined the room. Good morning. What you saying, Casey? Back in the days, you fought, got over it. Now you get killed. Facts. Yeah. Facts, Casey. You know, and that, don't get me wrong. It wasn't all cases for kids fought because you had some kids that cry. You saw them crying and. You know, but back then, you you always saw that, yo, you okay? You all right? You know, and I'm not saying that was all the time because some kids really went through some serious bullying. Like, you know, people, kids was just mean. And, but I never heard, I never heard of the kids where I grew up with killing themselves. So I want to play this clip because, you know, I don't like telling the news, if you know, because I don't want nobody to come back. You know what you do. That's not what happened. So that's why I always play the clap. And then we talk about it. And we got to talk about this. Oh, he was such a cute little boy. This was on ABC New York News. And I, I want to play the story. Hold on. Broken father. Tonight, trying to turn his sorrow into action. His 10-year-old son killed himself last week. He was bullied at school in the Westchester County city of Peekskill. The dad telling the packed board of ed tonight that while the bullying mushroomed into a deadly crescendo... He tried to get the school to take action. Will his powerful plea tonight help stop the bullying? Here's Jim Dolan. At an emotional and fiery Board of Education meeting in Peekskill tonight, Christian Ileskis held up his son's picture so the board he accuses of negligence could see him at last. Ten-year-old Lucas Ileskis was a happy, engaging, energetic boy who loved his family and his life at home. He was waking up five thirty in the morning every day to give me a kiss before I go to work. When I come home, he was waiting for me in the station. He loved to swim. But at school this year, Lucas was, his father says, relentlessly bullied by one particular child so badly he begged not to have to go. 
we got to call the police a lot of time because he got a light in the room because he was, please, I don't want to go to school. Please, I don't want to go to school. Terrified by the prospect of another day of bullying, last week, Lucas died by suicide. His father says he had tried to get the school to intercede, but they would not, at least not effectively. And so many in the district, look at the line of people who wanted to speak tonight, say they had similar experiences. All these parents are here. There are witnesses. They can attest to your negligence. And we are not taking that anymore. A 10-year-old child who has assaulted his his father now he just wants change we have nothing to lose I, my, my son is gone so the only what i want right now is some justice for another kids parents all say that when they bring concerns about bullying to the attention of administrators that nothing is done that they are ignored so it surprised no one tonight when so many parents and students spoke about bullying members of the board of education said nothing a heartbroken father. It's terrible. It's terrible. You know what? This is what I would say. Thanks for liking the show, Casey. Appreciate that. Because this is tough. And it's a sad story. That a 10-year-old, when he was 10, would know that and say to himself, I don't want to be here no more. It's, it's terrible. This is terrible. Because I don't even know, do, do kids understand death? Do they understand or do, do they think it's something temporary? I don't know. I don't know. For you to say, I don't want to go to school. Got to pay, you know. This dad tried. He really tried. And this is this is bad. So you know what I'm gonna say? I'm gonna read the comments first. I want y'all to hear these comments. Somebody wrote, if this was a white girl, the world would be there right now. Someone says, name the bully and the parents. They knew who the bully is. Someone wrote, the kid that was bullying him should be held accountable and his parents as well. I'm sorry, but it has to happen so this doesn't continue to happen. Poor kids. My prayers go out to him and his family. Someone else says, a colleague once told me that her kids were bullied and the school ignored it. Every time her child was bullied, she called the police and had a police report written. Mm -hmm. She then had paper evidence she took to the school. Not sure if it will work everywhere, but her kids are alive and well. And hopefully maybe this information helps someone else. Another person said, parents, if your child is being bullied, take matters into your own hands. This is harassment. File, file a appeal. Yes, file a police report. Face the bully parents, and if you have to call child services, do so. There may be something going on at home for a child to behave this way. All the board members should be fired immediately. Another comment. This is disgusting. This is what happens when you have parents that do not supervise their children and they think are little angels no matter what they do. There is nothing that can be done for this poor family to make things right. Actions and inactions have consequences. People need to learn compassion for each other. Yes, indeed. One more comment. As a parent, what, am I, what I'm not going to do is leave it up to the school or board to handle the situation after they failed the first time. Rest in paradise to the young man and may God give the family strength. This is what I say. 
I like the I like the comment with the the person said about the paper trail. Yeah, gig, this is horrible. This is what I'm gonna do. If my child came to me and says, "Mom, I'm being bullied. I'm being bullied every day, and I'm tired of it." Oh, really? Being bullied? All right. I'm coming up to the school. When I come up to the school, I walk with my child. Show me the person. Now, hold on. Let me finish because I know what y'all are thinking. Show me the person. All right, short pants, Robin. <laughs> Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Uh, Show me the kid. Point the kid out, male, female, whatever. All right. Let's go inside. I'm going inside. I want to have a meeting with the principal. We're going to sit. We're going to talk to the principal. I want a meeting with this kid's parents. That's the first thing I'm going to do. Second, after we have this little mediation, whatever it's called, meeting, whatever, sitting at the table, I'm going to hear what the parents say. I want the kids in the room. I don't want this to happen again. Because the next time it happens, I'm going to go to the police. So you take, let's take steps first. Let's see what's going on. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Because they always say their side, this side, the right side. You know, right, wrong, the truth. Right? Whatever it's called. Let's, let's, let's put everything out. If my child comes back to me the next day or whatever and say, Mom, it didn't stop. We going to the precinct. Let's go. Because now you went to the school. You address the principal or whoever's in that meeting and the parents. And let it be known. If it happens again, I'm going to the precinct. Now you start in the paper trail. Go to the precinct. File the report. So now it's on paper. Right? This is what I would do. I'm not telling everybody to do this, but this is what I would do. Now I got something in writing. So now we got to have, now I'm going to get the Board of Education involved. Because I done went to the school. Now I'm at the precinct. Now I'm setting up a meeting with the Board of Education. Because I'm going to let them know these are my steps that I took. Right? After that, I'm going to teach my child self-defense. Now, not self-defense in killing someone, just to protect yourself. Because bullying could be verbal and it could be physical. Okay, I have a nice little talk with my son or daughter. And I'm going to let explain everything, you know, as what bullying, what kids do, what they say. You know, teach them. Don't pay attention to it. Things might be going home, going on in their home. Maybe they will bully because, you know, hurt people hurt people. And it's ignorant, but it happens. We don't know what's going on. So educate the child. Let them know. We don't know what's going on, but this is what you are going to do, Billy or Marianne, because it's possible. That's their names, you know. I'm going to tell you this. Mommy is going to protect you this way. Now. Do not use this in a bad way. But if that person puts their hands on you, mommy went to the school, mommy went to the precinct, mommy went to the board of education, and little Johnny is still bothering you, now you have to protect yourself. Now, don't listen to the name calling, because see, that's when you got to start talking to your kids. People are going to say things to you. This is life. It's going to happen when you're younger. It's going to happen when you get older. This is what people do. People are mean. People are ignorant. The devil is busy. We have to educate our children and let them know. And let them know that people are not nice. Let them know that everybody that you are around are not nice. And you stay away from that. And you stay with people that are nice. You got to teach them that there is evil in the world and there are people that are just just pure mean. Now, when Johnny, if John, let Johnny, Johnny can say those things, don't even pay no mind, walk away, don't say nothing. But when Johnny puts his hands on you, because see, mommy already took the steps. I don't told the school now. 
You do what you got to do. But don't, don't be excessive with Johnny. See, it's a, it's, it's, it, there's self-defense and protecting yourself in the event Johnny steps to you. Because now you got to do what you got to do. Because you can't, people say, well, take the child out of school. Take the child out of school. Well, you think they're in bullies in other schools? There's bullies all around. We got grown-up bullies. You got bullies at work. You got bullies everywhere. So you're going, every time there's a bully, you're going, no. You got to learn to educate yourself about this bully. Learn to stay focused. Learn to ignore. See, it's learned behavior. Find out what's going on. Take matters. I mean, we already went to the steps. Now, when Johnny stepped to my son or daughter, they gonna get the hands. <laughs> and that's that. I don't. I don't believe in violence. I don't believe in it. I don't. But if I'm taking the steps and I'm letting you know, hey, listen, y'all better do something about this boy. I want a meeting with the parents. You already took the you took the steps. What else can you do? Just like this father, he took the steps. Sue the school. Get you a lawyer and sue the school. But have a paper trail. See, you got to have a paper trail today. I don't care what it is. You have got to have a paper trail with everything. Even at the workplace. If you feel you being harassed or disrespected or bullied, have a paper trail because that's what's going to save you when you got to do what you got to do. And I don't and I'm not condoning violence. Please understand that I'm not condoning it. But even if it's verbal abuse, have a paper trail because nobody has the right to bully you or disrespect you in any type of way. I don't care if it's a manager, supervisor, somebody, at your, a co-worker. If you feel you are being harassed by anybody, start a paper trail. Don't put your hands on it because now you're going to look like the aggressor. You're going you're gonna to get in trouble. You're going to get fired. No, 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 no. Start a paper trail. You go to the supervisor or wherever you at, school, whatever. Talk to them first. Listen, this is what's going on. I'm letting y'all know what's going on. Write a report. Copy it. Send it out. CC it. It has to stop. They got to look into it. They have to. It's a must. Nothing changes, take it higher. Now go get you a lawyer or get the union or whatever, wherever it's at. Doesn't have to be the workplace. It could be in school. It could be the situation with the Board of Education in the, in the school with the, and the parents. You have to have a paper trail because it protects you. If something gets out of hand, you are. I, I did the steps. I went to the school, file a report, CC it. There's other people higher than the principal of the school. Go to the Board of Education. Go go whatever. Go higher than them. And I'm pretty sure there's something. I don't care if you send a letter to the president. Go higher. CC this letter to as many people as you can. CC this letter to bullying organizations. Let everybody get this letter as to what is going on with your child. I guarantee they go. Because when it, it moves up like they take it everywhere. CC it. So now, if something takes place, everything is on record. Well, I let everybody know that bullying was going on in this school. The principal didn't do nothing. I went to the Board of Education. There's people hired in the Board of Education. You will CC that letter to everybody that is involved with school or the, the rules of the school, people that built the school. I don't care who it is. Send a letter to the janitor. Let him know. Tell him to keep it in his pocket. Put it in your house because you got the record that my child is being bullied. Get witnesses. I'm telling you, get everything on paper because that school, if they did nothing, they should be sued. <laughs> Little boy lost his life and the father took steps and they did nothing. They know who that little boy is because he's probably bullying other kids. Yes, he should be a, he should be held accountable for that little boy taking his life. If he was bullying that little boy and that boy that boy was so scared. I mean, I I don't know. I stepped on my yo. Let me tell you something. Better leave my son alone. But sometimes that could get out of hand because now you got the parents. Why are you in my son? And then that bang bang shoot him up. Bang bang. So we don't want 
to go to that level. We don't want violence. Right. Right, right, right. I'm telling you, right to everybody you could possibly think of, think of that has a foot in the school district. I don't care who it is. Right to the directors. The, everybody, let that letter be 20 places. I guarantee you. Some going some to take place. Now, then go get a lawyer. Start talking lawyerish, lawyerishness. Yeah, I just made that up. Lawyerishness. Start talking f- to a lawyer. Because I guarantee you're going to have a lawsuit. And it's sad that this little boy decided to take his life, his beautiful life, because I just saw a video of him playing, because some kid got some situations that he needs to deal with. It's sad. It's sad. Thanks for this uh thanks for this uh information gig cuz I didn't even hear about this story and uh bullying is serious man I'm telling you and we know kids get bullied we know they're getting bullied and they just not saying nothing cuz they probably scared or they want to be seen as a punk or something like that but nah we got to talk to our kids we got to talk to them let them know that it's wrong. You don't make fun of people. You don't laugh at people. You don't talk about people. Just don't do it. Because people turn around and they kill themselves. Verbal abuse is worse than physical abuse. That is something that you carry. You don't let go. All abuse is bad. But being bullied is terrible. So we got to do something about that, man. All right, let's move on to the next thing because I love kids and it's just sad that Gig, you is it sad that this is this is out of control. Gig, you sent me something when Deputy Desu indicated that Ebony Washington should pull over. What happened? He instead he put her hazard lights on and pulled so he pulled her over illegal? What what's going on? He pulled the sister over? I'm lost for words. Let's see what this is. I don't know. I don't play it, though, because it's Freaky Friday, Friday Freaky, and we got some top stories, and I'm going to spread it. She was pregnant. What? Oh, these cops. What are you doing? Where does this happen at? Cops Out of Control, Volume 1? <laughs> Let's see what this story's about, because sometimes cops... I ain't worried. I got my gun on you. We're all good here. Step out. Okay. Go ahead. Take it off. She put on her hazard light. Step out. Who else is in the She's pregnant. Oh, these cops, man. Y'all. Yes, they okay. All right, y'all might not really hear the story because it's a lot of muff. You don't have that. 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 You don't have You have to. And somebody said, and he'll be hired at another department next month. He sure will. He sure will. So he pulled the lady over. Uh, he had his, I think the cop resigned. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he resigned. And so he's going to get his pension and, and all that good stuff. Resign. Nope. Lose your pension and your right to bear arms. Yeah. He was wrong. He was wrong. If you check out, if you are on Instagram, ch- Instagram, check out the story. He had no business doing that. Uh. He pulled her over, but it's, it's what he was saying. It, it, he was, she was just explaining that she was in the middle of nowhere and she didn't, she was nervous. And so he pulled her over and, well, you didn't see this, the lights and see me. He got her out. She got her three cat, kids in the car. She got her hands up. She's pregnant. And, uh, obviously he knew he was in the wrong because he wouldn't have resigned. Um, the officer has cost the department. He is no longer employed by a large sum of money by way of civil suits. This woman should have filed immediately. Oh, boy. Yo, listen. I'm not saying all police, but 
if you're law enforcement, come on, man, y'all got to stop this cockiness. Now, I'm not saying everybody, because police jobs is tough. It's really tough. And shout out to all the good police out there. But you got some bad ones. You got bad in everything. You got bad in everything. If you if you're in a supermarket, you got a bad worker. If you're working at any department store, you got a bad worker. If you got a restaurant, you got a bad worker. No matter where you at, there's always somebody that just just wrong. They just do things wrong. They rule, they disrespect you. And this particular man, this police officer, he he was disrespectful. And uh I think she sued, I'm not sure. Um but, you know, the woman got her three kids in the car, got her hands up. You already talking about, I got my gun on you. Yo, come on. What did she do that you felt that you had to make that comment or to even pull your gun out? If you are scared, I mean, I know cops are scared, but if you're scared to the point where you just going bang, 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 listen, find another profession. You know, she doesn't seem like it's a threat. So whatever is on his mind, Whatever decision that, that chose that whatever chose him to, to react like this with her, yo bro, he, he, yeah, he did the right thing. He resigned. Um, how many other people he's done this to? I don't know, but the, he's out of line. This this was this was ignorant. So listen, I know we got we got great we got some good officers out there. I know we do. I know we do. But for the few of that's bad. Y'all need to find something else. I don't know because you don't do this to people. You didn't. You didn't take this job to to harass people unnecessary. You know, if you look at the video, if anybody look at this video, you're gonna say he was wrong. Stop it! Come on. Anyway, singer Kelly's 43 is dating actor Bill Murray. 72. You go, Kelly. My milkshake brings other boys to the yard, and doesn't matter if they're a little old. Doesn't matter if they're a little old. I still got it, and I in charge. Mm. Singer act. Hey, lovers in the air. It don't matter how old you are. It don't matter. It don't matter. Her milk brings all. Wait. <laughs> Her milkshake brings all the boys to the yard, and it's a ghostbuster. Yeah, it's. A ghostbuster, we gonna do this, cause we got the right. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. He was ghost, Mama Bill Murray, he was the ghostbuster. <laughs> he is saying, yo, Kelly's, if it's something good, want me to do, who you gonna call? Bill Murray, yeah. If you need some love, I'm coming to your neighborhood. Ha, ah, who you gonna call? Bill Murray. <laughs> That's right. I I don't I don't mind a little bit of chocolate. What? And then she's saying, I don't mind a little cream in my coffee. Ah. Yeah. Lovers in the air. Ain't nothing wrong with that. It don't matter who you love as long as you're loving somebody. It's all right. What's going on? Hi, auntie. Hey, Devon, my man. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You want to come on? Hey. Hey. Good morning. Hey. Did y'all want to come on? Oh, Devon, got to go to school. Good morning, Davon. I know I went past my time. Hey, listen, have a good day today, Davon. All right, pay attention to the bus driver. Uh, good morning, Mike. Good morning, Mike. Uh, Davon, have a good day today. All right, and Davon, I want you to listen to me. All right. If anybody is bothering you in school, pushing you around, saying things they shouldn't say, and that goes for all the kids out there, tell your parents. <laughs> Let your parents know. Nobody should be saying boo-boo words. Y'all know what boo-boo words are. Those are curses. Boo-boo words. They shouldn't be telling you what to do. They shouldn't be taking your things. If anybody is doing that to you, Davon, Cheyenne, Cheyenne got to go. Oh, Cheyenne got no school today. My little nieces, my great nieces, anybody that's listening, all the kids of the world, if anybody is bothering y'all, I don't care if it's a child, adult, it don't matter who it is, tell your parents. 
and have a beautiful day. All right? Make sure you listen to the bus driver and pay attention in class because you need your education. Pay attention and listen to the teachers. Have a wonderful day, all right? Get home safe. Yeah. So anyway, everybody. Yeah, singer Kelly's 43 is dating actor Bill Murray. Ain't nothing wrong with that. She like it. Is she wanna hold him tight? She like it. <laughs> it's nothing wrong with that. Lovers in the air, baby. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Gig, what else you sent me? Cause you know I, I'm over my time, but it don't matter. Um, what does what this is? This, I don't want to read no bad stories. No, 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 no. That's a bad, bad story. Bad, bad story. Um, yeah, gig, gig, you, gig, you putting on my information. You ready for me to go? You must got something. To do. You ain't got nothing to do. Yeah, I guess <clears throat> it's uh. So why do people film people? Y'all gotta stop filming people. On the trains and buses and stuff like this lady got some bad looking toes though. These are alien feet. But why y'all put her feet on a video like that? No, these toes are bad. These toes should never be in sandals. And and she probably need, in order to fix these toes, she would need major operations. It's not even worth it because it's all the toes. We're talking about 10 toes. Each toe is probably $2,000 each. They be getting them on a train. Nah, stop filming people. But at least she, at least she didn't film the person who was filming and filmed the person's face. That now that's a no no, because you're technically not supposed to do that. If that person finds out that you filmed them, I think there's a lawsuit. I don't know. That's something else I gotta look up. I gotta look up a lot of stuff. Damn, I gotta read a lot of books. Yeah, especially fights. Gig says. They be getting them on the train, recording all the time, especially the fights. Yeah, that's true. I wonder if you could get in trouble for that. Was that's just like you can't. Like I, I can do what I want. A lot of the filming has helped people. To tell you the truth, has helped people get locked up and stuff like that. Like you know, um, things that shouldn't have been done to a person, and now it's on film, so that's proof. But if you filming people like doing silly stuff, uh their toes or some something's wrong with them. Come on, don't do that. Well, this lady's feet is bad. Now, if I if she was my friend, I'd be like, Anna Marie, don't come out here with them toes like that. I mean, these toes, when y'all, if I, if I could send y'all a picture of this, y'all would be like, y'all, don't, come on, you talking about sneakers and boots, ma. Don't, you can't come out here with these. Her toes are bad. Like, they all turn to the right. Like, they just, it's like, like the right foot toes are turned to the right and the left foot toes are turned to the left. Like, I don't know. It could be a disability. That's what I'm saying. Don't do that. But it looks, it is bad. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to sit up here and lie. It's bad. But if she felt it was okay that, you know, it's a hot day and she wanted them toes out, that's, she had the right to have her toes out. But I'm telling you that you, it's, it's something that you have, you're going to stare at. Like, oh, what's wrong with my feet? Like, but listen, leave people alone. You know, that if she felt that, hey, I'm comfortable with my toes, leave her alone. Like there's a, a entertainer. I don't know. She, I don't know if she was a rapper or a blogger or whatever. She has an extra toe on each. All right. She had five toes on each foot, but each foot had a, was born. She was born with an extra toe. So she was born with like an extra. No, no, no. She wasn't born with an extra toe. The fourth toe is very small. So the pinky toe is taller than the fourth toe on each foot. It's not an extra toe. It's just that it's, for some reason, the fourth toe on each foot is very small. And she don't care. She's a pretty girl. She says she don't care. This is how she's made. She accepts it. Some people be like, oh, damn. What's wrong with your feet? You know, but she accepts it. So we have to stop putting people down and looking for little things to just make fun of. We just got to stop because there's something, everybody got a flaw on them that they want to change. I don't care what you say because if you didn't, these people wouldn't be going out there getting these operations. There is something about you that uh, if you could change, you would. I mean, don't do it because it's not worth it. This is who you are. But I'm pretty sure there is something on somebody, on you or anyone, there's something on you that if you could change it, you would change it. So let's not make fun of people who decide to love themselves the way they are. But I ain't even going to front. These toes is 
yo, these are some, these are some different toes. But hey, she said, I don't care. It's hot outside. You know, ain't nobody gonna notice my feet, but this person sitting across her, he noticed them feet and he videotaped it. That was wrong, but thank God he didn't show her face. But if anybody that know her, they be like, oh, that's Anna Marie Fee. Who did that? You know? So come on, y'all. Stop with the phones. Yes, let's, let's, let's use our phones wisely. God forbid if something happened, it's accident, you know, you taping or something that's going on, you know, you taping for proof or whatever. Or well, how about just using the phone to pick up some and say hello to people? How about that? Because that's what the phone is for, to pick up and say hello, <laughs> hello. That's what it's for. Let's use our phones for the use of what we are paying for. We're paying T-Mobile and Verizon and AT&T and all these other people to use the phone to communicate. Communicate. Not to be on a train filming people and then posting it. Don't do that. It's wrong. You shouldn't do that. Giggle says it's illegal to post someone without their knowledge. Again, did you look that up? We'll record them without their knowledge. Oh, well, record them without their knowledge. Nobody is perfect, and people need to mind a damn business. I say it like that because after the D-A-M, she got like 12 N's. Damn business. And that's a private joke, me, because we know why. I know why she do that. <laughs> hey, everybody, this is Friday. Y'all think y'all slick. Y'all got me talking over my time. Is there anything else in the news that I should enlighten y'all about? Let me see real quick, because it's Friday, baby. I might come on the weekend. I don't know. I know my recordings say that I'm supposed to come on Friday and Saturday, 10 p.m. to 11 p.m. I didn't quite start that yet. Gig, how many times you going to put my stuff up? I love you to death, but damn. Gig said, I'm letting everybody know. Tune in to Listen Up, Listen In podcast. That's right. That's my people's. That's what she always looked at. And everybody, check out KC's Kitchen. She's in New York, Delaware. She out there cooking, y'all. Y'all get on out there and check her out. She got a food truck. That's right. I said a food truck. She be cooking french fries and whiting fish. And she be cooking chicken fingers. She got an event this weekend. She making all these cup of cakes. That's what I said is cup of cakes. They good, creamy. She got the little design on them. Oh, man, girl be going off on her stuff. She cooks everything. Samosas. Uh, I think they call samosas. 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 I don't know. She be cooking. She be cooking, y'all. I'm telling you. Check her out. Casey's Kitchen, she's on Instagram, Facebook. Uh, she does big events, small events, all kind of events. Um, if you got just got out events, um, you might be going back in events. Um, she does block parties. She does all kind of stuff. If you're having events in your neighborhood, call Casey. If, you, if you, you're having a divorce party, call Casey. If you're getting married, call Casey. If your kid graduated, finally. After so many years of school, um, getting left back and stuff, and you finally want to throw that party for that kid, call Casey. She is awesome. She is- <laughs> Bring the food truck over here. That's what Gig said. Come on, New York. She won't come to New York. I tell her, park right on my block. She won't come. She said, the ride is too long. I said, what? The ride is too long. What you mean the ride is too long? It's only two and a half hours. Too long. I said, all right. Well, send me up. Do you email stuff? Can you mail something up? Mail me a sandwich or something. Put it in a box and pack. So, and, and put it on a, a, a shipment that I could get in two hours, like, like Amazon. Do you do Amazon shipments? But the food is good, y'all. All jokes aside, check out Casey's Kitchen, Newark, Delaware. She's on Facebook. She's on Instagram. She's on TikTok. Check her out. Food is delicious. It's fresh. She ain't playing. She ready. All type of events. If you just got married and you're in your backyard, you got a wedding in the backyard, she'll be there. She does everything. Pool parties, all kind of events. And I'm telling you, it's awesome to have that. So a lot of people don't like to, 
you know, it's a lot of work with cooking and stuff like that. And sometimes catering events could be really expensive. But could you imagine having a big party and people just, it's already paid for. And all people got to do is go to the food truck, order what they want. And uh, it's there. See, the good thing about this is KC uh, gives you options. You know, you choose what you want, no matter what it is. It could, especially the kids having the parties. You ain't got to, they, they, it's so cool. You run out to the truck and get your order and sit down. And uh, it's less mess for you. You ain't got to clean up. KC got to do all the cleaning. She got to clean that mess up. Not, not too long. The roads are bad. Yeah, because, you know, you be driving and uh, everything in your truck just to be bouncing and blah, 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 blah. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah, so she's trying to stay in the Delaware area, you know. She goes in the Delaware, Dover, Middletown, you know. She do all that. You know, she do a new, uh, new castle. You know, she, she, she do all that. She, I think the furthest you go, KC, the furthest you go is Pennsylvania, right? When you go to Pennsylvania, will you do that, KC? I think so. I'm waiting for her to type. She's supposed to do a commercial, y'all. I don't know what she, drive more hours and come to Brooklyn. Oh, that's what gigs say, come to Brooklyn. We hungry. We want some KC's food. I like to. I want some Casey's Kitchen, please. The audacity. Casey's Kitchen. I want, I want some Casey's Kitchen, please. Yo, I heard she make the fish. She make the chicken and she make the funky french fries. She make the cakes and makes the cupcakes, too. She makes all things and whatever you want her to do. Just give her money. Just make sure you pay her. Just make, just make sure, make sure, make sure you pay her. You're going to pay up front. Make sure you pay her. The price is good, too. Price is real good. Yeah. Check out, y'all. Check out. Anyway, everybody, that's my time. Listen, God bless everyone. And always remember to live, laugh, love. Love you first because you can't love anyone or anything if you don't love yourself first. Uh, Stay healthy. Stay focused. Keep God first in your life. And hug and squeeze your family just a little bit tighter. Don't forget the pets. Because they family too. They family too. I got three boys and a girl. They family too. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. I love you, mommy and daddy, forever. Listen, I got to give my shout outs before I hang up. First of all, shout out. Shout out to my peoples out there in Delaware. My family. Auntie Alice. Mama Greg, Karen, Karen, Kira, Gia, Max, Teddy. <laughs> Those are the dogs, Max and Teddy. They so cute. Shout out to Gig. Shout out to Cheyenne. Shout out to all my great nieces and my great nephews, my nieces and my nephew, my brothers and my sisters, my uncles and aunts, my cousins. From around the world. My cousins in Brooklyn, South Carolina, North Carolina. Everybody that's listening. Shout out. Gig say you going back to six. Gig, get you need we gotta what you talking about? We gotta get this workout on. You play too much. Talk about going back to sleep. What are you talking? I gotta move this gut and put it in my butt. I'm tired of being, no, 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 no. Get up. Get up. Why you think I started this show? Get up. Come on, you know we got to do and one, and two, and one, and two. Come on, and one. Come on, ladies. Uh, that's right. Don't play yourself. Get up. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Everybody get up. If, you, if you're not up, get up. You know you got to get to work. And if you you home today, Get up and do some exercise like KCC, drink water. Like KC, drink water. Come on now, get your butts up. Stop playing yourself. Stop playing yourself. We got to get this workout on. I don't care how much I can do. I'm going to do something. I don't care if I walk to the, uh, the stop sign. I did something. I did some type of walking. So you got to get up. Get your butts up. Everybody, have a beautiful day. God bless y'all. I'm going to try... I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. Yeah, get Cheyenne up too. Brush your teeth. Everybody, I'm going to try to 
come on this weekend. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. But um, everybody have a beautiful day. God bless. Watch your surroundings, cause your surroundings is always, 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 always. They always watching you. Okay. All right, y'all. I gotta go. I gotta. Listen up, listen in. Listen up, listen in.